fortunate enough, uh, every year we have an annual tournament where we have um, teams from Australia and New Zealand come over and play cricket against our local guys. And they were great. They would always bring cricket equipment to um, just to leave with us and we could do with it what we wish. And um, each year they brought over kangaroo cricket gear. So for us that was fantastic. We could go out to the schools and, and leave a cricket bat and, and two or three balls. And, and I mean, I remember one school that we went to, uh, we were the first sporting organisation that had come to their school. Uh, I don't think any of the kids had ever seen white people before as well, so they were very excited. Uh, and the principal told us that they had one rugby ball in the school for the last two years. And all of a sudden they had a cricket bat and three balls, so, so they were very excited. But, um, but it is one of those things with resources, it's limited resources and how you do distribute them uh, to the schools and, and to the communities and that. But, um, but yeah, that's definitely probably one of the, one of the resources. Um, we struggle with. We know the way the, the Fijians play rugby. They throw the ball around with gay abandon and play this wonderful <laughs> attacking game. What's, what's their approach to cricket? This, this boring game that, you know, that oh, it's, Jeffrey it's, Boycott invented. It's funny, actually. Um, a lot of the Pacific Islands uh, have their own version of cricket. Uh, in Samoa, it's called Kirikiki, uh, where uh, missionaries left their cricket equipment there m many, many years ago, uh, and Samoans made up their own game. Uh, so you're not allowed to block the ball in, uh, that, in their game. Uh, and you can see there's not a limit of how many people can play the game either. So you'll often see 30 or 40 people crowded uh, over one of their fields. Uh, and if you hit the ball, it bounces off the roof and you catch it, that's out. One, one hand or both hands? <laughs> oh, either way. These oh, right. go, yeah, no, it's... Uh, the cricket bats, uh, they weigh... The traditional kitty-kitty cricket bat uh, weighs about oh, seven or eight kilos, or some close to 10 kilos. They're very big heavy bats. So it's, it's interesting actually when you do um, give them one of the English cricket bats. Uh, a couple of times they have gone flying <laughs> into, the, uh, into the crowd. Um, but no, they certainly, they certainly adopted the 2020 style of cricket in, uh, in the Pacific and especially in Samoa.